Dear all, in this video, I am going to explain what do we mean by mixed RC potential divider. R stands for resistor and C stands for capacitor. In mixed RC potential divider, RC elements are connected either series or parallel. There is a certain combination. You can go for either series or parallel. Now let me ask one question. Why should I go for RC potential divider? The main purpose is to improve the step response and to enhance more accuracy. That is why I need to go for RC potential divider. It is a combination of resistive potential divider and capacity potential divider. Furthermore, it obeys the voltage division formula. As you can see, this is a diagram of mixed RC potential divider. You can see different arms. In first term, you can see C1 dash, R1 dash. In the second term, you can observe C2 dash, R2 dash. It will be continuing. Depends on the requirement, you can connect RC elements. Similarly, you can observe C1 dash, R1 dash. Similarly, C2 dash, R2 dash. Likewise, uh, there will be different combination. Total high voltage will be come over here. This is a total high voltage which you are going to apply. So that will be divided with the help of different elements. C1 dash, R1 dash. C2 dash, R2 dash. Then C1 dash, R1 dash. Likewise, depends on the, re depends on the requirement. You can connect the RC elements either series or parallel. There are different combinations available. I will let you know after completion of this particular segment. Now, the whole things you can divide low voltage arm and high voltage arm. Let it be this is actually high voltage arm. And this segment is known as low voltage arm. The output of the low voltage arm that will be directly connected to measurement devices. Either electrostatic voltmeter or VTVM or any other devices. So that you can able to get the sample of voltage which you applied externally and by using the calculation you are able to get what is the total voltage which you applied. Similarly, uh, R1 dash, now let us find out R1 dash. R1 dash is nothing but R1 divided by N where R1 is the total resistance. Similarly, C1 dash, you can observe C1 dash. So C1 dash you can calculate by using the formula NC1 into 1 minus Cg divided by 6C1. So Cg is nothing but ground capacitance. You can take an arbitrary value regarding ground capacitance. And C1 is nothing but total number of capacitor which is connected in a series. So how the capacitors are connected in series, how to calculate the equivalent circuit. If capacitors are connected in series, suppose C1 and C2 are the two capacitors. If two capacitors are connected in series, you can calculate C1, C2 by C1, C1 plus C2 if it is connected in series. If two capacitors are connected in parallel, then you can able to calculate C1 plus C2. So these are the basic information you must know before explaining mixer RC potential divider. So while doing the design, one more relation you can follow. That means R1, C1 equal to R2, C2. This relation also can be followed while doing the design. It will be really helpful. At the beginning, I explained that if I am going to use RC, mixer RC combination, Definitely step response will be improved. So you must have studied step response in control system engineering. The step response is the time behavior of the output of a general system when the input changes from 0 to 1 at a very short duration of time. So that is actually the step response. You have calculated the value of C of T, all those things you studied in control engineering. So as you can see it improves definitely this combination, RC combination definitely it improves uh, the step response. Okay, so you can uh, define the time constant also. RC means you can define time constant properly. So step response will be improved if you uh, go for uh, this method. That is another peculiarity. Moreover, there are different combinations. Either you can connect RC element in series or shunt or series parallel. Uh, depends on the requirement you can connect. Now let us see what are the different combinations available and let us have a brief discussion about different combinations. Now let us look at the first combination. The first combination is known as RC series divider. We have two arms. The first one R1C1 is known as high voltage arm and R2C2 is known as low voltage arm. Then the total high voltage will be divided with the help of these two arms and the voltage across the low voltage arm that will be directly connected to CRO and the sample will be measured. For this combination, we can observe the fast response. So that's a peculiarity of RC series divider. This is the most popular type of combination in case of RC potential divider. Now let us look at the second combination. Uh, this type of RC potential divider is also known as 
impedance matching RC divider. So one of the impedance matching circuit, you can directly observe here. The total high voltage that will be measured with the help of uh, low voltage arm and high voltage arm. The low voltage arm will be directly connected through the coaxial cable and it will be noted down at CRO. This will be helpful for calibration purpose also. So that's a peculiarity of impedance matching type RC divider. Moreover, you can, you can design the value of R3 by using the formula. R3 is given by R2 minus R2 minus Z0, where Z0 is known as characteristics impedance. You can able to calculate the characteristics impedance by considering the coaxial cable. So this is the combination that is known as impedance matching RC divider. Now let us see the third combination that is modified RC potential divider. If you use this combination, you can again improve the step response. That is why we are going to use this combination. So this is the modification of the RC series type potential dividers. Now it obeys the relation R1 C1 R1 C1 equal to R2 C2. While doing the design, this equation will be really helpful for you. Moreover, you can able to calculate the surge impedance or characteristics impedance by using the formula. That is Z0 is given by uh, R3 plus R3 plus R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. If you use this formula, you can able to calculate the surge impedance. You can predict the value of characteristic impedance or surge impedance of the coaxial cable. So this type of method is known as modified RC potential divider. There are lot more combination. Depends on the circumstances, you can use any type of combinations. Alright. So this is about mixer RC potential divider. Uh, let me conclude the session. Today I explain why mixed RC potential divider is required. In a single word I can say that to improve the step response. Very simple manner I can explain that by using mixed RC potential divider the step response for the measurement will be 100% improved. There are different combinations. I have explained different combinations of mixed RC potential dividers. So this is the summary of the session. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this channel more useful please do subscribe. Thank you very much.